dungeon uh sorry dungeon where this overall group of kids is going not to mention the fact that this vampire is a i hate him <laughs> i'm not gonna lie this vampire guy is pretty scummy for what he's doing and what he's already done so there is that to uh add to the conversation but regardless of his scumminess and probably his continuous scumminess uh i do like the fact that there is someone out there that has been like the true backbone of this company right <laughs> someone who's actually been figuring out the technology and figuring out what they need to do and whatnot like that and not really telling us like oh yeah it's, it's just this guy <laughs> excuse me it's just the guy who can manipulate the stuff who does everything right he does everything that would have been kind of i been mean, cool for him like it would have put him up higher on how capable he is with technology and stuff but instead they just make him all thumbs they make him uh have pretty much a reason to not be capable of doing this right so i like that uh perspective of having more characters being useful or having more characters being needed that way they can always have a little bit of a spot on the show if need be so i am interested in seeing how people are going to uh react to that overall seeing how there's gonna be a lot of, <laughs> seemingly a lot of changes going forward when it comes down to um just different characters going through their own traumas from what uh i can understand right like seeing what uh, this kid started to experience after he was invisible and he was spotted even during his invisibility he was pretty ridiculously scared right like he was not prepared for a uh, person to be able to spot him while he's still in that mode so to know that that happened and he has to just get over it and you know get out of this situation that he has he has himself in it definitely feels ridiculous uh to to the vampire guy at first he's like just what are you doing like get out <laughs> mind you going into this building accepting this job getting caught by the mosquito ladies like even getting noticed by them it's all this vampire's fault all if none of this stuff happens he doesn't even learn that this kid's gone through trauma and when he's in these positions he just can't react anymore like he got, goes into hyperventilation and stuff like that so it's like me in claustrophobic areas like all of a sudden if I'm trapped in an area where both sides are blocked and I can't leave until someone else leaves, I just start freaking out. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. Um, you, It's a mechanism in your body to act that way. It's not like I do it, I do it on purpose, right? Like I would love to not be terrified of that, but it's just not in the cards for your boy. But overall... I love seeing that type of stuff in characters because it just gives them something to overcome because, you know, we could point the finger at the person who truly is all cutesy and, you know, she he doesn't do as much stuff as he could, seeing how he could freeze, like, everything, but because of how he is, because of seeing things or hearing things that he doesn't want to hear... He ends up being useless. <clears throat> he ends up being mad useless. Pa passing out, fainting, all this different stuff. And that's why it's funny to me that, uh, you know, the kid who seemingly is the most calm, the most capable of handling the situation, the most, uh, you know, cautious in that situation that he was just in, 
all of a sudden, you know, just starts supposedly breaking under the pressure of whatever anxiety has, you know, already messed with him quite a bit. So even even the most level-headed people could have gone through some of the most traumatic things that can change just the way that they approach their next moves. So really, really interested in seeing where this is going to go, um, especially with them not having the help of their teacher and the vampire really might just start doing some stuff to even push forward our characters further because he feels like it so that's not a good look but i expect nothing less from a person like him so far so with that being said i hope you have a good day night evening whatever the case may be when you watch this i'm your boy anime g and i will talk to you in the next one peace